at the Jeep dealership waiting on my Jeep to get uh, detailed. Had appointment for 1230 and it is about 145 and it's still not done. But uh, really excited because now it's gonna be fresh. It's gonna be fresher than fresh. It'd be like my 2012 would be like, it's like pretty much like a pretty much like a brand new car. But uh, I'll show it to you guys in a second. And she is a beauty. All clean on the inside. I think this is the first time I've ever actually gotten a car detailed. My brother gets it done all the time. I've never gotten a professional detail because I've always had a crappy car. <laughs> Not anymore. So I got home and what we got here is the brand new salt and vinegar Quest protein chips. One of the, actually that's one of my favorite kind of chips. And the other brand new flavor which is sour cream and onion. And then we have the uh, the typical ones, the barbecue and the uh, cheddar sour cream. I'm actually very excited to try these. I'm, I'm about to go to the gym so I'm probably not going to eat one right now. But I will eat one maybe uh, for the end of this video and let you guys know how it is. Ooh. So what does a man do when he's losing his youth, has already lost his hair? You go ahead and leak Quest chips a day before they're supposed to be announced. Brandon Campbell just doesn't care. Guys, he just doesn't even care. But uh, I'm still going to try the chips, so you'll see them at the end of this video. If I'm sure you've seen a video since then, because I'm putting this up on Thursday. Um, and Brandon Campbell is just crazy. He put it up a day early, because they're, they were, basically they're announced on Wednesday. I'm going to try them today, being Tuesday. And you're going to see it on the day Thursday. One thing I wanted to show you guys, if you're seeing this, go snag them now, because... I have two smalls, one medium, two larges left over from the sale that I sold out of so many in uh, the first two hours, or actually under two hours. And a lot of y'all are wondering about, uh, I did some sneak peeks of the other shirts, which you hopefully, if you watch all my videos, you saw. Um, I'm putting a lot of time and effort. I basically just placed the order for these shirts. And it's... The upfront cost of these things is a whole lot, so I hope you uh, really enjoy them. Um, I'm really excited about them because I, I did some upgrades a little bit. Um, there's some cool new features on the shirts that I'm so excited about. Um, the quality is going to be just as high as ever. Um, I really make the standard. I set the bar for t-shirts <laughs> for people who make shirts. I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make everyone up their quality. Um, and I'm always going to try to keep them at a very reasonable rate, especially on shipping and just keep the prices down low. Um, luckily, I, since I do a full-time job, I don't have to rely on these shirts as my main source of income so I can keep my profit margins a little lower to help you guys out. But um, I think today I might make a little more like vloggy vlog kind of style video uh, instead of just always lifting, always lifting, you know, talking, lifting, talking. But we'll see what we film. Go snag those shirts up. So we have one, two, three, four, five shirts. And by the time you see this, they might be gone. I only have those blue ones. Um, and on those stylish shirts, I won't be making again for a while. So, go snag them up. Woo! By the way, guys, this is uh, my new place that I'm moving into in a couple weeks. So, I have nothing, okay? I have a bed with no bed frame. I'm going to get a bed frame. I have a TV for my room, the 40-inch uh, TV that's over there. Uh, I need to get a couch. I need to get a coffee table. I need to get end tables. I need to get a table. Um, pretty cool Pretty cool room. This is uh, 717 square feet. Now, I just got to fill it up. What do you guys think I should buy? Because I got to buy, like, cool appliances, cool pots and pans. Leave, like, lists of stuff that I should purchase for my bachelor pad <laughs> in the comment section below. But really excited to move in here. It's going to be a big upgrade. I can finally not shove my bed in the uh, the corner of the bedroom. Woo! 25 growing up, guys. So you might think my sink is just really dirty, and it probably is dirty, but actually the garbage disposal. Look at this. Look at that. That's what you don't want. <laughs> the garbage disposal is, like... Busted or something. I guess the same pipes would do that because inside the dishwasher, this is all water down there. Uh, it's like leaking through to put the carpet down or the rugs. Down. What am I saying? Putting the towels down. Everything. My room. My roommate's actually already moved out and he left all the furniture. Um, he said I could have this couch and stuff, but I really just am not a fan of. I mean, too many things have happened on this couch. Like, way too many people have slept over here, and it's just. Nah, nah, nah. And then I got this laser board, which I bought for like 30 bucks at a, like a Goodwill, but I'm probably not going to take that either. Probably just going to curbside all of this stuff and just, I don't know, go to Ikea or something or 
get all this stuff, but it's crazy because like, you know, so many memories happen like in your houses when you move. So like, it's, I remember all the memories that have happened in this house. We were at like three years. I mean, this is where so many Dave eating videos have been filmed. Are you guys going to miss it? Are you going to miss it? Nah, because I'm going to move to a cooler place with nicer stuff and, uh, yep, that's it. All right, so just filming some more cool stuff, just random. So again, let me know if you like the style of the video because I know you know you, you come to this channel for fitness, right? You come to it for the fitness and the deadlifts and the heavy stuff. But sometimes, sometimes you just want some like random stuff. And you know what's random? Me putting BCAAs in my drinky drink. And I'm also gonna do pink lemonade. Do you, you know those little like, packets where it's like don't eat this or you'll die. I feel like no matter what, if you have this package in there or not, like if you look, see here it is. Here's the package, and it's still like, I guess got uh, condensation. By condensation, I mean moisture, aka water, into the container, and it's like clumping up, and that just ain't cool. That's the worst. But uh, BCAAs and pre-workout for this chest workout that I'm about to go do. I think I get up to like 255 for some sets, um, and then next week's the deload week. And I think this weekend I'm going to do like a Q&A, which I'll probably, follow me on Instagram. I'm about to hit 20,000 on Instagram. That's just blowing my mind. 20K is a cool number. I'm really excited to hit that. So I post a lot of pictures on there. But I think I'm going to post a, uh, a Q&A picture of, I don't know, my beautiful face or something. And, uh, you know, some questions about me, about my life. Everyone likes always ask me questions because I'm very diverse. And I'll probably do, put that up on Saturday because there's no Dave eating this weekend, guys. All you people, if the five of you that watch this video also watch my Dave eating sagas, I couldn't film last weekend. So no Dave eating. I'm gonna put up a Q&A so you can go ahead and remind yourself not to watch that video. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go. First cool feature I like about this car. Automatic start. Second coolest feature, keys going in pocket. Here we go, door, door's locked there. Ready for this? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> upgrades. All right, so I, I, I figured I need to uh, make a cool thumbnail for this video because the key with thumbnails is, you know, you guys are seeing so many channels, you follow so many channels, and the thumbnails are what stick out because if there's 10 videos that have been uploaded, you know, you're not gonna stay watch 10 videos. That's why I try to, you know, space out my time because I don't wanna upload when everyone's uploading because then you may miss out on old old Max. But I gotta put a cool enough thumbnail and I figured, what's a better thing than uh, me doing a wacky pose in front of my car? So what I'm gonna do is see this truck over here. I'm just gonna set the camera on that and I'm gonna do a, a pretty cool pose right in front of my car. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. Here we go. This is happening right here. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This is happening. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Right there. Yeah? Is that cool? Woo! <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. All right, so walking into the gym, I apologize if it's a little windy, but uh, what I'm doing now is basically a psych up at the gym. I go in, got my pre-workout. Sometimes I'll sip my pre-workout all the way. Hold on, let me take the auto focus off. I'll sip my pre-workout all the way up until I'm like my first set because then it kind of kicks in throughout the thing, so I'm not just like all amped up like my first sets. Um, I focus on what I'm doing in the gym, what like what numbers am I hit, how you know how hard is this gonna be, and I just think about stuff. That's you get, when you walk in the gym, you think about stuff. Gym stuff. You think about gym stuff. But um, music I'm listening to right now is actually some Tyga, so that's that. Hope you guys are enjoying this more behind the scenes kind of uh, what goes on in my lifting. So you saw I listened to this maybe some some upbeat weekend. I got some Lil Wayne Drake. Bench press today, getting up to 260 pounds, and you'll notice that I put a clip that I actually screwed up the rep because I do two reps at 260, unracking myself, and I'm like, man, that went great. Realized I was supposed to do three, and then you're gonna see a spotter come in and help me, but uh, we had some complications on the lift off, and it was a, a just a not the best lift off in the world, which kind of resulted in me screwing up, or I was just happened to be weak at the time, but. Uh, you know, let me know if you guys like this style of video with, with a lot less lifting, a lot more random, stupid talking by me. But, you know, I, I, like, to, I like to, you know, always make different types of videos, maybe more vlog. I do the day of eating. I like to do some motivation. As you see, we're supposed to do 98%. 
for uh, two sets, and then he, he goes to get this block, and I don't realize it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just keep setting up, and then I, I'm like, okay, where are you? I'm like, okay, I'll just keep setting up, I'll keep setting up, and then uh, <laughs> I was like, where did he go? So I kind of got all ready to go, and then I had to wait, and here he is again. So uh, you'll see it's kind of the lift off. I think I, he just didn't lift it up high enough because I don't know if the block was the best idea and uh, clipped on the, the edge of the bar. But, you know, no one's really fault. It's more just uh, poor communication there. But threw me off a little bit. Only managed to get two reps. And I believe in the second one, it's barely even a pause. Oh, no, that was good. Um, all in all, pinch progress going great. I got some, uh, some good videos coming for you guys next week that I filmed as of this video. Um, I like to get a little bit ahead of myself. That's another little behind-the-scenes tip. You know, I'm not going full Matt Ogus on you and giving you footage from six months ago. But, um, you know, it because, you know, I do have a full-time job and that takes up a lot of my time. If I can get maybe a week ahead of myself on footage or even a couple days ahead of myself where I can have a video or two ready to go, um, you know, it, it, it's going to help me out. and It's going to help me produce content for you guys because I do try to produce four videos a week. And, you know, making four videos that are just as entertaining as the last one is not necessarily the, the easiest thing in the world, um, you know, to continue to make different stuff and things that are going to either motivate you, inspire you, entertain you, make you laugh, make you cry. You never know. But stick around for the end of the video. I do give a little taste test to those Quest chips, and I also just kind of go on a little bit of a baby rant. Leave a comment down below of your favorite style of video that I, I make. If you guys like my videos, sorry for this final little shot here. Finished off some income press, but leave a comment down below. What, what, what videos that I make are your favorite kind? Thank you as always, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, we're back from the gym. We're gonna try the salt and vinegar crust chips. Come on, Max. Smells like salt and vinegar. Here we go. Well, honestly, they taste like the sea salt with vinegar. <laughs> Obviously, that makes sense, but not as much vinegar as I probably like. But there's some vinegar in there. Fun fact: you can put vinegar in pretty much everything, and it makes it magnificent. Magnificent. I was gonna. Try, oh, bleh, I was trying to say magnifico and magnificent. I don't know, but they're pretty good. I think tomorrow I'll probably try the cheddar and sour cream. I might even replace the chips that Quest sends me. I might, instead of getting the sour cream, or cheddar sour cream, I might get these, because... Alright, we're good. Alright, so I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more clips. I'm going to put all these in the computer, and see if there's enough time in the video to add more stuff. But uh, let me know if you like this style of video, where it's like <laughs> very little lifting, maybe some, I don't know if I'd put like raw clips or not. And then just random stuff, like behind the scenes of my life. Um, probably won't do this too often because I know a lot of y'all come to my channel for lifting, but uh, give me your feedback. I need to go turn the AC down because it's hot in here. <laughs> See ya!